The Trainee Football Coaching Scheme is a bespoke four-month coach education and training programme for young people that are either unemployed or not in education. The scheme itself provides a supervised and fully mentored environment for the training coaches to have direct responsibility for delivering coaching sessions for local primary school children that come here to the Westway Sports Centre. The focus of the scheme is to develop young people's key skills and attributes in relation to coaching to enable them to have the opportunity to become good quality, positive young coaches. We place a lot of emphasis on developing the employability skills and professionalism of each young person. When I clap my hands, all I want you to go and do is basically run up to a red cone, touch it, come back and start jogging again. Off you go. There we are, well done, excellent. How I found out about the Trainee Football Coaching Scheme is through my line manager. I was an apprentice with the Royal Borough Kensington Chelsea Youth Sports Development Team. Through there he referred me onto the course. I was doing my level one at Westway. Some of the people I was with were on a course or a scheme who then introduced me to the scheme itself. I found out about the Trainee Football Coaching Scheme through the local youth club and I went to a hotel called the Ibis Hotel in Earls Court and I signed up to be onto the scheme. I found out about the scheme from a lady at Connections and she was really nice about it. She knew I wanted to do coaching, I was doing some coaching before and she put me through to the right people. Before I took part in the scheme, I never had a job. Like, I didn't think I would be getting anywhere in life. I was unemployed for a year, I was on job seekers. Uh, feeling really depressed, demoralised. I'd finished school, I'd gone to uni for a year, I dropped out of uni and I was just doing nothing, so unemployed basically. I was doing odd coaching here and there, nothing too professional and doing some volunteering as well. Touch the cone, touch the other cone and sprint off. Well done, keep going. The benefits to me personally of taking part in the scheme was that I developed a level of professionalism to make sure that I was always on time, um, that I always set up correctly, that I always knew the kids' names, always knew stuff like health and safety procedures. Because at the end of the day, I was taking a care of duty for them, getting hands-on experience of being able to coach young children and develop myself as a coach. For starters, it got my, my body clock set straight because I was pretty much waking up at four or five in the afternoon, put me on the right track, gave me a bit of focus, a bit of drive, also operating as an individual and also as part of a team. The coach education that we got was very detailed. You also encourage us to do a lot of uh, self-evaluation work and reflective work which also allows us to analyse and evaluate our own performance. The benefits to me by taking part in the programme is I've got a job now and I'm working for the borough and I'm giving back to my community, I'm working in the community. That's a good look for me, like, I feel like I've done something to improve on my life. Personally it helped me with my confidence because I really did not know where I was going, I had no direction so it helped me find my focus and direction. This scheme taught me how to be professional, how to work with children, what well, I thought it was a hard thing to do until I actually done it. It's benefited me in ways where I've got income now so I don't have to worry about when I'm getting money or how I'm going to get money because I've got a job now. <laughs> you guys ready to have some fun, yeah? Yeah. I see you all smiling, well done. <laughs> what I want you to do guys quickly, listening up very carefully. I want you everyone paying attention to me today. Okay. Actually delivering these uh, sessions to young children has helped me with my communication skills and developed me in a way in which I can interact with the kids, but get my key points out and motivate them to play as well. Getting them really involved, otherwise if I don't show enthusiasm and good communication skills, they're not going to enjoy the session, they're not going to learn anything. And being in that position where I'm actually involved a lot has helped me become a better coach and person. The benefits I would say from this was to gain more knowledge in coaching and in football and to get my FA Level 1 and also to be able to coach kids and learn how to 
start coaching primary school kids especially because I never had that kind of opportunity. The most enjoyable aspect for me was being able to be hands-on and getting to do so many hours of coaching so frequently, so regularly. So you'd be able to get into a pattern and it's easy to learn that way when you can correct your mistake um, straight away the next day. The scheme gave me over 100 hours of practical coaching which from a CV standpoint is really good because it's hard to get that amount of work in the current economic climate. It's given me that experience of being a coach and it's given me the potential to get further in life and achieve what I want to achieve and that's becoming a full-time coach and getting higher levels in coaching. Now that I've finished the scheme, the opportunities that have opened up for me is that the Royal Borough Kensington and Chelsea sports team has now kept me on as a sessional coach and also Westway Sports Centre have introduced me to the pool of coaches and I now work for them also. In summer I'm going to go to Camp America in Los Angeles so it's increased my employment opportunities. The scheme gave us opportunities by bringing down potential employers to watch us coach and out of those I did some work for Chelsea Football Club Foundation and I also got a job with Westway who I'm working with at the moment. The scheme pretty much set me up for that. Without the uh, practical hours of coaching that I would have gained from the scheme I doubt I would have got the job. I took on the Westway apprenticeship and I'm still working for the borough at the moment. For Westway I'm working within the community, it's more community based. Like with the borough it's more coaching football and refereeing leagues, I referee leagues and whatnot. And the Westway apprenticeship is based on working within the community but more multi-sports. The work I do with Westway involves delivering a range of sessions to broad age groups and abilities. The development squad that we have here, which is uh, young kids with potential that we're training up. Community sessions, which is called pay and play sessions, where it's just anyone can show up and get involved. I'm doing a session with the FA as well here on a Friday, and that's with an older age group, so 14 to 17 year olds. When you do turn, why are you turning? And what do you need to do before you do? Well, you can look over your shoulder, yep. see who's behind you, whether there's someone behind you. It could be over your right shoulder or your left shoulder. So that could determine what turn you use. Right, I find what, so I had someone on my right. I wouldn't use the outside hook because they get the ball. Yeah. I use the inside to try to stay away from him. Well, since the scheme is finished, I've started work at Westway Sports Centre and with Chelsea. I've worked on the curriculum stuff with the schools in the area, as well as the community-based work and holiday camps. Since I've finished the scheme, I've had loads of opportunities. I've been able to continue some coaching sessions for the borough. I've started an apprenticeship with Westway Development Trust, which is football coaching, but more general coaching as well, going into schools and doing play centre work and lunchtime work. I'm also doing football for Westway Sport Centre itself, which is good football sessions on the Saturdays and other sessions. And I've just started working for Chelsea, which I've been doing summer camps. What opened up for me was the apprenticeship with Kensington and Chelsea. So I'm sticking with them and I'm happy that they accepted me. So I can't wait for the future, what it will bring me. I recommend this scheme to other young people because it provides a qualification. It will give them a great set of coaching skills and also test their character as well. With the young person, if they're interested in sports, I would really recommend this scheme. It's not really paid work, it's, it's paid training. And it's really helped me, it's helped train me to find work. If they're interested in anything of this sort, they should go for it and come here with open eyes and objectively. Just go for it 100% and not be scared to make mistakes and that everybody here is, is here to help you. It doesn't matter your level of coaching, your ability, if you've never done it before, if you have done it before, there's always new stuff to learn. And Everybody here is really open, willing to help you, but best of luck. I think a lot of people that were where I was before I was on the scheme should come onto this scheme because it will be a life-changing opportunity for them. We've been very lucky here in Kensington and Chelsea to have a local network of employers that have supported the project and given young people the opportunity to gain employment exit routes provided they've shown the right standards and commitment and skills. This time last year we had five trainee coaches that came through the programme did very, very well and have managed to get sessional coaching positions and apprenticeship positions with a host of local employers. So we've had partners such as Westway Sports Centre, Chelsea Football Club, Queen's Park Rangers and the Borough Sports Development Team that have all taken on young people this year.